What is going on guys and welcome back to another video where we have ran into some spicy Blackwing support um, for, you know, in 2018. In 2018, we are still seeing Blackwing support and, you know, I guess, you know, we, we might as well just get used to it. I mean, we should all just like stop playing the game like seriously and just like all just start playing Blackwings because Konami is never going to stop giving this deck support. And um, the sad reality is that we all know it's true. We're getting, if we're getting stuff like this in 2018, God knows how much longer we'll be getting Blackwing support for. But um, I must say, these are some cards Black Wings have needed for a long time. Like from the Synchro to the, to the level 6 guy, these two are cards that Black Wings have needed for quite a while. The level 4, I'm not really too fond of, but, uh, you know, we'll, 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 we'll get into all three of them. And, you know, you'll see why I think, you know, these are some real solid cards. So, uh, starting off with uh, the level 10 Synchro Black Feather, full armored wing, uh, full, full black wing, full armored master. I'm sorry, I, I was reading the Japanese name. So level 10, uh, 3,000 both ways, and his materials are black wing tuner plus one or more non tuner monsters, and uh, that seems to be a trend with uh, black wing synchros that they just seem to like. Hey, if you splash a black wing tuner in your deck, they, like Konami's just tapping you on the shoulder, like, hey, if you if you splash a black wing tuner in your deck, you can pretty much play any black wing synchro you want. Just saying. And then, and then they just walk away slowly, looking at you, looking at you as they walk away slowly, saying, just, just staring it in your eyes, like, hey, play this Blackwing Synchro. So, now, this one being level 10 and everybody and their mother playing level 7s these days because of Destrudo, you could just sub in, like, a Steam to Cloak. I know Steam to Cloak is a, a real uh, fan favorite right now because it summons tokens, uh, but... If you use it for a synchro summon, you have to use either Blackwing monsters. But so, uh, just put in like a Gale or something, like a Gale of Warland. Like try try a Gale of Warland out. Um, but yeah, so unaffected by other card effects immediately. Um, he's still prone to a Kaiju, but he's a three thousand hitter who's unaffected by card effects and real easy to summon. So this is already looking like a good card. This is already better than a lot of the support Blackwings have gotten over the years. So I'm I'm just glad that we're getting it like at all. And uh, two, each time you, opponent's monster, you, uh, a monster your opponent controls activates a, uh, an effect, you put, place one wage, uh, wedge counter on that monster um, when that effect resolves. I'm sorry for uh, messing that up. But pretty much, um, if you know the regular arm master, he messes around with uh, wedge counters when he attacks you. But this one just says, hey, you activate your effect, you, you, get, you get shot. You get a little, like, uh, you get a little uh, shot put in you. And... Uh, you know, it's it's actually a, a timed explosive because if you read effect number four, during your end phase, you destroy all monsters on the field with wedge counters in them. So if your opponent activates, uh, if, if a monster activates its effect while uh, Blackwing Full Armor Master's on the field, it's pretty much just a ticking time bomb at that point. So, yeah. Um, and then, lastly, once we're turning guitar, one monster opponent controls as a wedge counter and take control of it. So not only do you get to um, wombo combo and, you know, blow these boys up the field. Uh, <laughs> but you also get to uh, freaking mind control them for a turn. Oh, no, it's... Wait, it's not for a turn. It's freaking permanent. Okay. Well, it's just permanent control. And so, um, comboing this with actually the regular Armor Master, where Armor Master puts a wedge counter on any monster that it attacks... You know, main phase two, you can just, uh, you know, take control of that monster. And so it's going to be really easy for you, for like Black Wings to get a lot more control over the board now if uh, you play this card. So, yeah. Um, real solid card. And moving on to the next one Black Wing Samoom, the Poison Wind. So it's a level six Dark Wing Beast effect monster. And don't let its level fool you. This boy is pretty damn solid or at least pretty good so if you control no monsters you can banish one or black wing monster from your hand and then place one black roll one directly from your deck to your spawn chop card zone face up then you can either send this card from your hand to the graveyard or immediately after this effect resolves normal summon this card from your hand without tributing a monster so here's the thing you banish the other black wing monster from your hand so i know black wing players they don't like to use resources that's why uh, Allure of Darkness has always been a 
um, uh, a freaking argument why you know you should play Alert Darkness or not because you know, like some people like it, some people don't um, because there's too many essential combo pieces in Black Wings you know for you to be sacrificing um, your extra Black Wing monsters. So um, it places Black Ruin directly from the deck at the cost of pretty much two Black Wings. Um, so you, you need to have another Black Wing in hand and uh, to use him. You know, uh, you know, he also has to be in hand, and so it's not really the best way uh, that they could have, you know, had a searchable, you know, a way to search Black Rowan. But I do feel like uh, now nowadays, with um, the game becoming less and less trap dependent, because back when you know Black Wings were at their prime, or even when the Assault Black Wings came out, and we got all that support, trap cards were still in. You know, trap cards were still hip. Trap cards were still used a lot. And spell and trap card, you know, a lot of back row. You know, black wings were used to be like a back row heavy combo deck that used to be their thing. And so now, if you were to play black wings now, it'll be like completely aggro. Like most decks these days are just completely aggro, barely any traps unless you know they have to play them. And so having an effect like this that relies on having other black wing monsters in the hand, it could be good in a in a deck where you're using like a lot of combo pieces, like where everything is just combos and like spell cards, so you're not really all that uh, concerned about it. Uh, so it works better now that it's out, so uh, rather than you know before when you know back in five E's or even uh, uh, no, it was arc arc five era. This is when we got the other black wing support. So yeah. The only real thing is that uh, the Black Rowan plays by this effect is sent to Graver during the end phase, and you take a thousand damage. You can have special monsters from your extra deck for the rest of this turn, except for dark monsters. I'm glad it says dark monsters and not, um, you know, synchros or you know any lame thing like that because you know that that would be stupid. Um, but yeah, so we, um, there, there's definitely a lot of dark link monsters you can make, um, so you can fill your board with black wings and link monsters. So that's not really going to be a problem. And so the last. Um, black wing that we're looking at is uh, Oster the Southwind, uh, the level four wing beast tuner, and uh, with some pretty whack stats, but it's a tuner, so it's not staying on the field for long. So it cannot be special summoned. It's pretty much just like a blizzard. Pretty much, uh, when this card's normal summoned, you target one of your banished level four lower black wing monsters, special summon it in defense position. And so, yeah. You, you can, you know, we, we can bicker back and forth about how good or how bad this card is. Like, yes, it can't bring itself back. And yes, um, you know, you do banish uh, cards to activate uh, Samoom the Poison Winds effect. So, you know, you, you, you should have a Black Wing banished uh, by the time you get access to your Oster. The problem for me is that first turn, if I don't draw out uh, Oster, I'm probably not going to banish a, a Black Wing monster. And so this is just going to be a dead card in hand, you know. So um, and the fact that it can't special summon itself, because uh, you know its second effect is that you could banish it from the graveyard to place wedge counters on face of monsters your opponent controls, or to place uh, black feather counters on a black winged dragon you control, equal to the number of cards your opponent controls. So it's it, it's made to banish itself, like it's made to hit the grave and then banish itself. But the problem is, is that it can't special summon itself back when it gets banished. So it's pretty much just a one of if you even feel like playing it. But I do feel like uh, you don't need it because the black uh, freaking full armor master over here freaking uh, is real good for just placing wedge counters on monsters your opponent controls. I'm pretty sure most of them are going to be scared. Like they're going to be scared into not activating their effects so that they don't get taken control of or they just... Or, you know, uh, they, they might not be around for so long. Because if you can go into an Armor Master as well, you know, you just attack it and then take control of it. But, you know, some sometimes you just don't even care about taking control of monsters. You're just going to beat over them anyway. So, it's uh, it's not the worst thing ever. But um, it definitely does control your opponent's field. And, it help, and you know, this card, Oster to Southwind, helps you do, do that a little better. So, yeah. Um, it's it's not my favorite of the three. I feel like I'll just play one of these um, personally, and then two or three of Samoom the Poison Wind. Uh, 
The thing I like about Samoom is that, uh, or the thing I like about Black Wings in general, even even before um, all this support came out, is that Black Wings were kind of a deck. The thing that kind of made them uh, stay like a, a tier two, tier three deck, they then they never really became meta after they got all those assault Black Wings, is that their entire deck is really about one big push. Black Wings never really had that comeback factor unless they still have Black Rowans on the field. So usually you just make one big board, and then if you win, you win. If your board gets wiped, you pretty much just lose, especially if you don't have any Black Rowans left. So um, I feel like, you know, in in the modern game right now, that's really how the game is really playing. It's like a lot of decks are focusing more on, like, beating you in, like, one or two turns. And so Black Wings can, like, now with, like, support that can actually, like, make them faster and then give them, like, scary cards that, you know, can't uh, can't be uh, destroyed by card effects or are unaffected by card effects. Um, it, it, get, it helps give them the strength that I feel like they, they needed for so long. Because uh, when it came to, like, Black Wings before, they never really had any scary monsters. Um that like negated or like hindered their opponent from playing they really only they really relied on like icarus attack you know they relied on like icarus attack and their back row to really do that for them so that's why it used to be a back row heavy deck now you can play like a more aggro build because this guy's under fight by their card effects and i promise you this guy's really easy to summon first turn because black wings can make level sevens like it's nothing and then um you know you have level three tuners like gale like especially limit itself from the hand and then level three plus level seven, that's level ten. You know, simple math. And so yeah, like this this support just works real well. And so uh, Samum, you know, he he just goes like straight into um, a level seven as well. Uh, you know, if you like normal summon him off of the Black Roman that you search, um, you can go into uh, pretty much like uh, any level seven. Um, and then from any level seven, if you also have a Gale in your hand, you know then you can go into level 10. So um, pretty much what I want to show you guys here is uh, also, you know, the, the prices of uh, some of these black wings because it seems the market did kind of take a big hit when it came to uh, Raikiri over here. Uh, <laughs> you see, the, the, this must be pretty recent because his, his market price does say $4 over here. And, uh, you know, like the lowest is like 20s. There's only three left on the market. So this guy's getting bought out. Um, by the time this video is put up, he might already be bought out. So just be wary of that. Um, let's just refresh the page just to see um, how, how he's doing. Okay, he, he he's still at three. Um, but for the most part, I feel like Black Wings are still at fair prices for like uh, max rarity. You know, Bora's costing like threes. Uh, Chris, Chris the Crackhead. Um, he, he's like fours or something and there's still a lot of black wings on the market so if you're planning to make black wings i i would say pick them up as fast as possible now uh Rikiri, in rikiri's case he also has uh ultra rare uh printings that like aren't are nowhere near as much as uh this one right here so uh just be wary of that uh, like the the ultra rare is only like a dollar each so if you really desperately want an a freaking ultimate rare then uh, I guess, you know, you either pay up or you're out of luck. But if you just want the card in general, it's not a hard card to get. And uh, Black Rowan's also. Um, let me just refresh to make sure nothing's changed here. Um, we don't have any more near mints. Uh, <laughs> all these, like, moderately played uh, for freaking Ultra Rares from the Legendary Collection. Um, it's, like, 20 lowest for ultra rares i mean obviously black ruin has been reprinted so many times there's so many comments out there you don't like look, look at this 67 freaking listings of, of uh, black ruin from raging battle you really don't need high rarity but you know obviously a lot of people are going to want to play this in the highest rarity possible and so you know the turbo pack was you know yeah like look at that seven prices all you see is damage here i don't even think there's any uh freaking near mints look at that 70 50 bucks 70 bucks for like near mints it's freaking crazy over here so th th this was this is already lost cause to begin with but the black rowan from legendary collection 5ds you know 
it's so sad but i feel like you know what most people playing this deck probably already had most of these cards just sitting around anyway so i don't know if this is really as big of a deal as uh it it is but we don't even know when this support's coming out in the tcg yet so um these prices might settle back down if it's a long time until we get the support but for the most part i feel like yeah, you know, anybody wanted, like, anybody who has, like, an ultimate rare Raikiri just sitting around um, is from Dimension of Chaos. I think this is one of, like, the last sets that actually had ultimate rare, if not the last one. So, you know, if you just have one of these just laying around, you know, just, just, just freaking put a listing on it and, like, sell it online to some idiot who decides to pay $20 for a card that also has a version that's, like, a dollar. Like, literally, the freaking Raikiri's... Let me see if I could show you uh, if I can. It, it's is they're literally like under under a dollar each. It's it's freaking ridiculous that he would like spike up so much. But you know that that's just the way the market works some sometimes. So yeah, um, that's that's black wings. New Blackwing support and gave you guys a little market watch as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see you guys on the next one. Uh, tell me, tell me guys what you what you guys think about you know Blackwings in general. If you think the support is what the deck needs to either become uh, meta or even at least like playable in like a in like a competitive uh, environment is, is what I'm trying to say because you know it's like black wings have been a deck that's always been able to stand on its own feet for you know quite a while but it's never been able to like you know like after a while it kind of like lost um you know it's pacing with you know the the top decks you know power creeps and all this that so you know tell me if you guys think that uh these these cards are what black wings need to be playable in the competitive scene again or if you think you know it's 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 freaking over for black wings or uh not it's over but this isn't gonna help or this doesn't do enough, pretty much. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you boys in the next one. Peace out.